We have a good supply of oxygen. Oxygen is the red atom. This is the O2 molecule with the double bond. We have a couple of molecules here of hydrogen, which is H2. And we have a single atom of carbon here in my hand. We have an alkane here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So there are 16 carbon atoms, which means we have 34 hydrogen atoms in this alkane. What we might want to do to make the alkane more useful is to crack it. Cracking is a very simple process. We apply heat to long chain molecules and the thermal energy will cause them to separate. So let's see if we can get cracking on this. And let's go one, two, three, four, five. If we crack the molecule there, I think you can see that we've now got one, two, three, four, five pentane. But we're missing a hydrogen. If we grab a hydrogen from there, we can then seal the gap on this one by putting in a double bond onto this hydrogen, with this hydrogen, sorry. Print that hydrogen there, put in a second double bond right there. And now, with a little bit of luck, you can see that we have an alkane and because we have a double bond over here, we have an alkene. So, now what we should do is try and combust our alkane. Now we need oxygen to do that. So we'll move our alkene out of the way. And we'll look and we'll move these molecules out of the way just for now. And we'll see how we go. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five carbons. And what we want to make is five carbon dioxides to use up all the carbon. So let's take the hydrogens off. Oops. There we have our hydrogen. So we have pentane, remember? One, two, three, four, five, which means we've got 12 hydrogens. There we are, two groups of six. So let's make some water. Break the double bond, make a water. Break the double bond, make some water. We need another oxygen molecule. Break the double bond, make some water. Break the double bond, make some water. Uh, more oxygen. Break the double bond, make some water. Break the double bond, make some water. So we've just made six water molecules from the hydrogen that was in pentane. We've still got our carbon left, so we still want to carry on burning. So now we're going to take the oxygen, put it in a double bond, put it in a double bond, oops, and we've made carbon dioxide. One. Here we go again. Made some carbon dioxide. Need to do that again. Made some carbon dioxide. We have to do that twice more. Carbon dioxide, we've got one carbon left. We need double bonds. One, two, three, four. And we go one last time. And put in the oxygen. Put in the oxygen. And there we have it. We've burnt pentane. We've now got one, two, three, four, our five original carbon atoms, our 12 original hydrogen atoms. And we've had to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 oxygen atoms from 8 oxygen molecules. So C5H12 
plus 8O2 makes 5CO2 and 6H2O. Job done. This is methane, one carbon and four hydrogens. And I've put next to it two oxygen molecules, which is four oxygen atoms. And now we'll combust methane with our oxygen. We'll break, we can apply energy to break the bonds. I'll leave the double bonds on the oxygen there, and I'll leave the double bonds on the oxygen there, and we'll apply a bit more energy and break up there. So now we've put some energy into the system and broken the existing bonds. Remember these are magnetic, I had to pull them apart. Just like in an atom or a molecule, you have to put energy in to break the bonds. But then, when the bonds remake, energy is released, and you'll hear that in this instance of sound. Here, we've made one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. So without adding or subtracting any atoms or molecules to the system, I turned methane into one carbon dioxide and two waters with the addition of two oxygen atoms. So these are the products. Let's recreate on this side the starting conditions. So there we have methane and two oxygens and on this side we have oops, carbon dioxide and water and if we count the atoms we can see that on this side we have the same number of atoms as on this side. Okay here we have propane one two three carbons and one two three four five six seven eight hydrogens and here ready, because I've done the calculation already, I've got one, two, three, four, five oxygen molecules, which is five and five, which is ten oxygen atoms. So I've got in total three carbons, eight hydrogens, and ten oxygen atoms. The oxygen molecule has a double bond, O2. This is propane C3H8. And you can see all the eight hydrogens there. So, living peacefully together until we put in a spark. We put in a spark and the bonds come unattached. Just like this. And now the oxygen molecules break and start to reassemble as in this instance carbon dioxide and water and here's one carbon dioxide and two waters we've still got two carbon atoms left there's carbon dioxide and one two waters and then we want to make carbon and these are just double bonds to make carbon dioxide. So my C3H8 has now become three CO2s and four waters. Nice and straightforward. You notice all the atoms I had before, I still have. I have not changed the number of atoms.